Welcome everybody to ODI. It's a pleasure to see all of you. And it's a particular honor to be sitting in this panel with our distinguished speakers, all of whom have really made a tremendous contribution, both uh, in policy and in practice, to the theme that we'll be, we'll be exploring today on corruption and whether and how citizens can make a difference in combating it. This is also quite a hot topic of ongoing conversation um, in contemporary development, uh, as you can see from ongoing debates on post-2015 um, and other issues. And I don't know if you have had a chance to see some of the publications we have put outside, including uh, the paper that will be uh, the topic of Frederick's uh, talk today and also the book that Pierre has just uh, recently completed. Uh, but uh, if you have not had a chance to, I urge you to take a look because uh, a lot of these issues are also captured in some of those publications. So let me add turn to introducing our panelists for today. Um, and after I finish that, I will turn the microphone over and I will do so in order of appearance, as it were. So we have Pierre uh, Landon Mills, who has been working in the area of development uh, for over uh, a period that spans over 50 years and has been working on issues related to governance, institutional development and decentralization in Africa and Asia. Um, he has also written extensively on, this, uh, on all of these issues and was instrumental in launching uh, the debate on corruption um, within the donor community. Uh, he is also the founder of the Partnership for Transparency Fund, uh, which he led for 10 years from 2000 to 2010, and he's currently a principal um, of the policy practice. And I have to thank him because he was an original inspiration uh, for this meeting that we're hosting today, uh, having approached us at ODI uh, with an idea to share the insights and findings from the book uh, that he has recently uh, published, as I said, of which he has copies here. Um, and uh, that was a very good thing to do indeed. And I also should disclose that he was the very first ODI fellow ever. And not to be accused of nepotism or anything like that, his daughter was also the first, uh, uh, well, offspring of an ODI fellow to go um, on the field. So we'll leave it at that. Um, I also have Frederick, uh, um, who is the chief executive of Integrity Action, um, a London-based NGO that was founded in 2003 under a different incarnation, T-I-R-I, which I will not try to spell out, but something to do with transparency um, and accountability. <laughs> and uh, he is also a veteran in the field, having worked in this area for 20 years. Uh, he has been a consultant uh, on, st on strategic cor corruption um, control in more than 40 countries and has been working and advising governments, international organizations, foundations, and also the private sector throughout this time. Frederick is an expert on measurements and met metrics pertaining to corruption, um, fraud, and organizational integrity. And he was the head of research of Transparency International for 10 years. And if I understand correctly, he was also the organization's first staff member ever. Is that true? That's true. So there you go. We have a first for everything today. <laughs> um, and then finally, uh, but by no uh, means um, lastly, I would love to welcome Mark Robinson, who is a very, very good friend of ODIs and of Pogo uh, in particular, and also um, used to have the privilege of working here. So that's, uh, that's quite a lifetime. Um, and Mark is now the Chief Professional Officer for Governance, Social Development, Conflict, and Humanitarian at DFID, where he heads a professional group of about 250 specialist advisors based in DFID's overseas offices and central departments. And Mark also plays a central role in DFID's policy and research work with specific responsibilities for strengthening professionalism and improving the quality of evidence. And I should also say that Mark has served again as an inspiration for this meeting um, as he has um, played a crucial role in founding the Transparency and Accountability Initiative. And as he has said himself, he is a passionate advocate of the Open Government Partnership. Uh, and before we start, let me just uh, say briefly that I did warn my panelists that power corrupts and PowerPoint corrupts absolutely. <laughs> they have promised to behave and be good. I will have to act as a very vigilant watchdog. Who knows who can hold me to account? 
but in case there's mutiny from the floor, I promise <laughs> to behave as well. So without further ado, I will turn the microphone over to Pierre, and you have between 12 to 15 minutes. Thank you very much.